Hi everyone, this is the first installment of a series I'm launching focused on finding free or affordable certification courses for nurses and any healthcare professionals out there. Regardless of where you are located, these are courses you can take, offered by some of the best and top U.S. universities and colleges that are available online. Certification courses can provide a great boost to your resume. It allows you to show your current or future manager that you have the skills and knowledge required for the job. It may or may not be necessary for the job, but you may prove yourself a more viable candidate with these credentials under your belt. So let's go. Here we have COVID-19 Effective Nursing in Times of Crisis offered by John Hopkins School of Nursing. Duration is two weeks, two hours of weekly study time, 100% online, learn at your own pace. You can see here the course overview, the topics, start dates, and you can see it's available now and you can click join today. Requirements. So this course is designed for nurses and other healthcare professionals working with COVID-19 patients or wanting to learn more about how to provide quality care with limited resources in times of crisis. The educators, what is included, and of course, you're going to get a PDF Certificate of Achievement to prove your success when you are eligible. Next, we have Mechanical Ventilation for COVID-19 offered by Harvard University. So it says here free. This is one week long and requires two to five hours per week of time commitment, self-paced. And you will see here the course description, the instructors, details on what you will learn, and of course, the direct link to take the course. The platform they are using to host the course is EDX. So it will lead you to a different landing page. Then if it's your first time to access the platform, it will require you to set up the account first. And once you're in to access the course, this is what you're gonna see. And you also see course handouts on the right. There are different dates. You also see very helpful, the frequently asked questions section. Now, going back to the accreditation tab, very important here are some of the credits that you can earn by completing this activity for physicians and for nurses. It is also important to note that you can only get your certificate if you score at least 75% on the post-test. So you will be provided a confirmation email with the score results. And if you didn't earn 75% at least, you will be provided with instructions on how to edit your answers to the post-test questions. The next set of courses we have here is offered by none other than NCSBN or the National Council of State Boards of Nursing. We have four self-paced courses in here, all related to, of course, COVID-19, epidemiology, modes of transmission, and protecting yourself with PPE, nursing care, basic law and ethics, for nurses during COVID-19, credible health information, hoaxes, and the media. Many, if not all of the institutions right now are required to have their students finish all these courses before they can even let them go to clinicals. Now let's go ahead and try this second course here, which is nursing care. Click enroll. It will then ask you to fill out a form with all your basic information. And you might wonder, what about four years of nursing practice? What about if I don't have any experience yet? I've tried earlier putting zero in it, and it just accepted the enrollment just fine. So that means they don't really require for you to have a job experience before you can take the course. So once you have enrolled successfully, they will send you an email where you can confirm your account, and then it's going to look very confusing because the landing page will look like this. So you will enter your email and password, but you haven't set one up yet, right? All you need to do is click forgot password. They will send you another email, click, and then set up a new password, and you will be able to access your account. And your dashboard will look like this. So you have the course here course modules, course announcements, and some helpful tips. 
click on modules on the upper left, and the course begins here. Then the last part will be the course evaluation CE application. Once you have successfully finished the course, you can go to badges and you will earn your course badges in here. So obviously I don't have it yet because I haven't started the course as of recording of this video. So there you go. All right, guys. So this is only part one. Stay tuned and subscribe for more of this. I'll be on the lookout for any other helpful tips that I can find for you nurses and healthcare professionals out there. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.